Well, hello, all my nerd knights, friends, family. I don't think any of my family watches this, but anybody who's watching this uh, this episode, episode one, Massive Darkness 2 Hellscape, we're going to be painting the palette, and it's super easy. But first off, I want to thank all the YouTube members for your support for this channel. You guys are awesome. I can't thank you guys enough, and you guys obviously get first dibs of what you want to see painted, so send me a message on Instagram at nerd.knights. Everyone else, it's first time at the channel, or if you've been watching and haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. You got nothing to lose. Hit that bell, hit that thumbs up. But without further ado, let's go. As always, we are going to start by scraping off all the mold lines of our miniature. I'm using a file and a scraper. If you need anything that I use, I do have links below and full ethics disclosure. I do take a small percentage. It's like a penny of every cell. So barely anything. After that, we're going to take some sticky tack and put them on old spray can caps. And then we're going to spray them with just black. I'm using an airbrush and I'm just using the Vallejo primer. But if you're using spray paint, just use Citadel Black, Army Planer Black, whatever you have, and let it dry. The first color we're going to be doing in our base colors is going to be Iron Hand Steel. This is a brighter steel color and obviously if we're looking at the card art from the game this paladin has bright majestic metallic armor so we're going to be going over all of the armor areas get it in the recesses of it and if you get a little bit on somewhere that it's not supposed to be it's not a big deal because there are some straps on the armor that we'll paint over here in a little bit but just go over everything including the sword and the parts on the shield Next, for the base color of our flesh tone, we're going to be using some Cadian flesh tone. For the inside of our shield, we're going to be using some XV88. And again, try not to get it on the metal areas. And if you get it on some of the gloves or the strap areas, not a big deal. We're going to paint over that here in a minute. For our gloves, strap areas, and portions of the belt, we're going to be going over with Mornfang Brown. For our red undercoat or jacket or whatever he is wearing, we're going to be using some corn red. For 
For the other straps and the belt, we're gonna be using some Rhinox hide. Now again, the ones you're gonna be doing that are coming down the bottom of our leg area of our Paladin, if you get get it on the areas on the black, that's totally fine. You're probably gonna get some of the other areas for Carrick Stone that we're gonna paint here in a second. We're just gonna to have to repaint it and touch it up before we do the wash. For the shield on the outside, we're just going to be using some Balthazar Gold. For the inside portion, not including the bullseye portion of our shield, we're going to be using some Retributor Armor. We're also going to use this on the hilt of the sword, the buttons, and other little areas on the miniature that you see me painting. For the inside portion of the shield, we're going to be using some lead belcher. And for our, I don't know what this is, skirt, dress, whatever he's wearing. Um, we're going to be using some uh, Carrick Stone. This is probably going to take two to three coats, so paint it, let it dry completely, and then do another coat until it's fully covered. And then for our boots, as our last base coat, we're going to be doing some Skaven Blight Dinge. Moving on to the wash step or shade step, we're going to be using some Reichland Flesh Shade on our Cadian Flesh Tone or our Skin Tone. Put a nice healthy dab. You want those eye slits to really come out with the wash. For all of our metal bits, we're going to be using some Nolan Oil. Don't be afraid to try and just get crazy with it. Try not to get some onto the Carrick Stone area, but if you get some onto the Browns, it's not a big deal. But we're going to be using this all over the red area as well, the sword, um, the silver portion of the sword, and the boots as well. For all of the rest of the other areas to include the skirt portion and the outside of the shield and all of our brown and gold areas, we're going to be using some Agrax Earthshade. Don't be afraid to get this all over this, the skirt area. It's going to look really weird. Just take kind of a leap of faith and trust me in this. The paint that we're going to go over it with is going to really cover it up. It's just going to kind of give it that darkness in the recess area and underneath tone. So just trust me on this one. Uh, and use it. While you're doing this and you are obviously letting it dry now, head over to nerd.nights, which is our Instagram. Subscribe over there. Um, I'm going to be trying to do some more things over there. I'm going to have some contests. I did do one if you want to go see it for an old... Um, board game that if you want a free copy of it, go ahead and uh, enter that contest. It's a regular post. Once your miniature is completely dry, we're going to take some Acadian Flesh Tones, starting our highlight phase, and we're going to be hitting just certain areas. The cheekbones, bridge of the nose. We are not getting anything in the eye slits. That's why I said to put a decent amount in those eye slits. 
Um, so we're just going to leave those as is. Next, take a 50-50 mix of Kadian Flesh Tone and Kizzle Flesh. And I am using a wet palette. If you want to know how I use a wet palette, you can go see the video I just posted a couple days ago on how I use it. And we're going over the same areas, brightening up everything just a little bit. For our final highlight skin phase, we're going to be using some Kislev Flesh in the same areas we've been using, just to brighten up to our brightest point. Next, we're going to work on a major focal point of this miniature, which is the metal areas. We're going to be taking some Iron Breaker and going over the obviously metal areas you want to go over every single thing you do not want to get it into the recesses you merely just want to get it onto the metal areas keep those recesses dark which creates that depth perception of the metal Once you're satisfied with the Iron Breaker, go ahead and use some Storm Host Silver and go over the same areas. What this is going to do is very not noticeable at first, but it's really going to brighten up that silver and that's the look we're going for, that super bright silver. Next, we're going to take our original base tone, Mornfang Brown. We're just going to go over the same exact areas that we went over before for our base color, Mornfang Brown. Next, we're going to take some Liberator Gold and highlight up all of our gold areas to include the hilt, the inside portion of the, or the outside portion, I guess I could say, the inner outside portion, let's say that, of the shield and then the little buttons. Just hitting the raised areas of the undercoat with the corn red. We're just going to do that really quick. Followed by doing some Gorthor brown on all of our pouches. There's three on the back and one on the front near the shield. Now to re-highlight up our skirt area and take that original Carrick Stone, we're going to be going over a vast majority of this portion. We really want to focus on the raised areas, leaving not that much of that Agrax Earth Shade in the recesses, but just enough where you can see um, a little portion of it, but nothing too crazy.
Again, while we're on the back side, we're just going over those raised areas, getting the vast majority of it. And as you can tell, this is going to get covered rather quickly. Maybe two coats of this um, as I did that with my miniature. Next, we're going to take a 50-50 mix of Carrick Stone and Ushabdi Bone, and we're just going to go over the same exact areas we were going over before. And finally, for the last highlight, we're going to take some Ushabdi bone and just go over the same areas, building up those highlights, specifically more on the knee area in that section right there. Finally, we're going to take some Storm Vermin Fur, use it on the boots. I'm just going to do edge highlighting on the top portion of the boot and then use it on the regular bottom portion of it. And finally, your favorite part of painting this miniature because that means we're done and we're going to use some Abaddon Black on the base. And that's it, you're done. I'm sure you did a fantastic job. As I see all of your miniatures that you send me onto Instagram for all of you that send me pictures, what I love seeing. But thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. Think about becoming a YouTube member if you want to. Hit me up on Instagram. I love when people send me messages and ask what they want to see and tell me what they want to see because that gives me inspiration for the next video. But until next time, paint on.